Well, today I'm going to do a video on how to howl, as I've had, well not a lot of requests, but there's been a few people asking me exactly how to howl, so I thought, since I do videos on myself howling, that maybe I should do a video on how to do it. I'm not sure exactly how to explain this to you, because I've been doing this since I can remember. I was raised with dogs, and I just picked up their vocalizations and behaviors. Since I can remember, I've been howling and speaking and communicating with canines. I had a lot of trouble with it growing up, people saying, oh, that will never get you anywhere, but it's one of my talents, so they can just... One of the first things you have to remember with howling is your attitude with it. For me, I like to almost shapeshift into the wolf or the canine part of myself so that I can bring out the sound and the emotions behind it when you're starting out. It's good if you become your wolf. So you just sit in a comfortable position and feel your body change. You can feel yourself growing a muzzle and erect ears. You can so even sometimes feel a tail. You feel your hands becoming paws. And you can feel the soil as you run on the damp earth and then you let out a joyous howl. Shape-shifting is a wonderful device to help you learn how to howl. If you can get into the animal's mindset, you can do anything. When you listen to a howl, if you know what you're listening to, you can almost feel the emotions that that particular animal is giving out as they were doing that howl. For example, if you wanted to do a mournful cry, you'd put a lot of sad emotion into that sound. Um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind when you are howling is the sound. Listen to a howl and break down that specific howl into sounds. Like if I went, Oh, you hear an ah sound so that you go ah and then ooh, ah ooh, and go ah ooh, and that is the different sounds of that. And I find that canines such as coyotes like to use a lot of a lot of ip sounds and ooh sounds like <laughs> and and. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself doing this because I have no idea what I am doing. I think you can break it down as if you were singing. There's different pitches and notes within singing. I don't know exactly how to explain it because I'm not trained in singing. But if you think of but think of the howl as a song because that's essentially what a howl is. It is a song that gives out emotions and meaning in it. And the emotions and the meaning of it depends on the pitch and the feelings that that animal is giving out at the time. Like if you want it to rally your pack, you'd have a very high energy howl. That you'd be very, you'd be very joyous and happy in calling your comrades to join you. <laughs> It's a happy sound. They're, they're happy when they are calling their comrades to come to them. But if they were, were sad and lonely, they'd have a more mournful cry. Breaking down the sounds of the howl is rather easy. You just have to listen to them. Um, it's basically ah and ooh. Raw! It's basically just raw. And then there's whoo, whoo, which is basically a who or woo sound. That's basically all the sounds that are in a howl. Basically, woo, who, oo, rawr. What I suggest to anybody who wants to learn how to howl is to look at video clips and listen to audio recordings of wolves and other canines howling in the wild and in captivity. This will give you a good breakdown of the various sounds that are made. Basically it's very simple. There's 
probably only a handful of actual valve sounds that are inside of the howl. But with the howl, as I said earlier, it's mostly all of the intent and the emotion within that howl that make the howl a howl. When you're watching video footage of wolves howling, I suggest you turn off your computer monitor and just listen to the sound. There's, I don't think there's very much to be gained from watching the wolves howl, because as you know, like wolves, when they howl, they usually lift their head up and go, and basically all that that upward head movement is, is for sound projection. They project their voice up into the sky so that it goes up and over all of the trees and the hills and anything that may be in the way of having that sound carry over a long distance. For me, I usually just howl straight on, unless I want the sound to carry. If I'm going to my sister's, for example, and I want to know if she's home before I get there, I can be about probably about 500 feet away from her house and I'll start howling, and if she can hear me, she'll come out on the steps and howl back. When you're howling and you want to make the howl sound, you want to bring it up from your diaphragm. It's a very deep sound. It goes right through your body. You don't want to use your vocal cords because that can be a real strain. Um, and using your vocal cords to make the specific vowel sounds, you're not pushing out through the vocal cords. You're just shaping your muscles to form the sound you want. Everything else comes from your diaphragm. Um, I like to explain it because where the howl is such an emotional sound that it starts out in your stomach, it goes up through your heart, and then out your mouth. I find that when you howl, you use your tongue a lot. You're pressing it up against your palate and turning it into different positions. It'll take a while for you to actually get used to your own body's muscles and train them to do what you want. But it, it, it takes time and practice to be able to howl. And if you're serious about mimicking wild canines, then I suggest you howl at any opportunity that you can. Don't let your neighbors or your parents or anybody that you are around try to talk you out of doing what you want. It's, it's an expression. Some people sing, some people paint, some people howl. And those of us who are other kin, fair and where, whatever you want to call it, howling is an expression of our soul. You, you, some people go to church on Sunday and sing in the choir as an expression of their soul. We howl. There's just nothing that we can do about it. It's who we are on the internals. It's an expression of our inner soul. And for years I've, I've suppressed it and I, I love to howl. And I guess that's all I can say about howling. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any specific howl sounds that you would like me to show you, who just send me a message and I'll see what I can do to get back to you on it. So until next time. Woo!